Well, good news. I have invented a way of working out, or really just, I didn't invent it. I'm just communicating it to you about how to get a ton of muscle growth stimulus in a very short time per week. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to build a plan that gets you four workouts per week, each one of them roughly 30 minutes in duration, even faster, depending on some variables. But we're going to be teaching you guys how to do this yourself, not just going through it. So we're going to talk about principles I'm going to be using to build this workout. First, we're going to be using a lot of what are called distributed compound exercises. Compound exercises when you use more than one joint and more than one muscle, like a bench press, a row, something like that. But there are two ends of a spectrum for compounds. There are focused compounds, for example, a wide grip bench. Yes, it's a compound movement. Yes, it technically trains your chest and your triceps, but because it's super wide grip, it focuses a ton on your chest. It doesn't really do your triceps a lot of justice. So it's a compound movement in name, but it doesn't really adequately train multiple muscles like you would think. However, a distributed compound is something like a close grip bench that distributes the load and the difficulty and the work to many muscles much more evenly. So a close grip bench really does train your pecs a lot, but also trains your triceps a ton. So we're going to be leaning more into distributed compounds so that we don't have to spend a lot of time in the gym, that individual exercises can give us huge bangs for our buck and that we just don't need to do a lot of them because if one exercise can knock off your biceps and your back, another one, your chest and triceps, man, we just saved like half the time from having to go do those isolation movements. Yes, it's totally fine to do isolation movements. So we'll be doing some in this, but at a minimum. And the other way we're going to be choosing our exercises is we're going to make sure the exercise are the kinds that really reduce the setup and warm up time. Deadlifts are amazing, but if you do barbell deadlifts, like you got to warm up for forever. The setup is annoying. You got to put plates on. Whereas if you're doing something that's, let's say, uh, some kind of body weight lunge situation, it can hit the glutes in a similar way to deadlifts, maybe a little bit better in some occasions, but really you just warm up by doing a few bodyweight lunges and then you do whole sets of bodyweight lunges or with small dumbbells, very easy warm up, very easy to set up. A lot of times that's going to be bodyweight moves, cable moves or dumbbell moves, because with the cable, you just click the weight in. You don't have to take weights on and off the bar. Nothing gets barbell moves. They're phenomenal. But if you're trying to save time, that might not be the super ideal. Dumbbells are easy because they go onto the rack, off of the rack. You might even have some at home. And we're going to be staying away from a lot of heavy work, a lot of plate loaded barbells or plate loaded machines, even though for real specific, serious muscle growth, they're totally awesome. If you have the time and interest to put in that time. Next, we're going to be using a lot of loads in the 10 to 20 rep range because they're heavy enough to cause muscle growth, but they're not so heavy that we need to spend a lot of time warming up for them. If you're doing sets of eight or sets of five, that grows muscle, but you got to warm up for it a long time. And then you got to usually to maximize that, you have to take some pretty long rest breaks. We have no time for either of those. So we're going to be going for that moderate to high rep range. We're going to be using a lot of supersets and even trisets where we superset three things at a time to really save time. And they're going to be usually unrelated muscle supersets where you do something, let's say for the back and biceps, some kind of exercise, you rest five or 10 seconds. And right after you do an exercise for the chest and triceps, while your chest and triceps are frying in that second exercise, the first one's back and biceps are resting a little bit. So with only five or 10 seconds of rest between those two movements, you go back to the back and bicep movement and so on and so on and so on. So we can sandwich a ton of stimulative effort into a very short time. It also is baller for your cardiovascular fitness and health because it's going to get you breathing like crazy. We are going to also, to that end, push high fatigue proximity. So like, yeah, three reps in reserve, two, one rep in reserve, more like two and one in most cases. Three reps might just be what you do in the first week. We're pushing really close to failure, generating a lot of fatigue. So if you don't have a lot of time in the gym, we have to make sure every set is very stimulative because we're not going to be doing that many sets. Minimum rest between sets. And that kind of builds out our whole principle to pr-